Are you looking for a superior opening that will win you games and leave your opponent crying over the chessboard? This gambit is literally strong but nobody is playing it, probably because it's the most hideous and sacrilegious opening created by mankind. If you want to understand the subtle ways of effectively taking your opponent's soul in the most hideous and sacrilegious way because you don't care about ethics and values since all you seek is to ruthlessly win the game and bring shame on your opponent. The Halloween Gambit is made for you. The game starts with the Four Knights game. But instead of continuing this boring symmetrical opening, we hit them with the exceptionally rare and stunning move knight takes e5. If this was a normal gambit, we would be sacrificing a pawn. But this is not a normal gambit, we sacrifice a knight. This is not a trap whatsoever, they just take it. After they take our horse, we push d4 and take over the entire center. Congratulations! You achieved strategic dominance. The best move for black would be knight g6. The most common move is knight c6 because humans don't know what the f they're doing because nobody knows this opening and how they should play against it. Just keep harassing the knight. After d5, white has a 59% win rate. Keep harassing. Knight to g8 is the only good move. Now push your deep one. If they take, you take back and black's best move is queen to f6. Most of the times, it's a good idea to attack this square and threaten to fork the king and the rook. They have to defend it by putting their knight in a terrible position and you keep building up your strategic advantage by developing more pieces. This position literally has a 79% win rate for white. White is down a knight but if you think that black is winning this, your chess rating is probably even lower than your IQ. If they played knight e5 earlier, you basically go for the same plan. Harass the knight, they retreat, harass the knight, they retreat, push your pawn, takey takey and threaten to fork the king and the rook. In this case king d8 is the only good move and you keep harassing. There are many tactical mistakes black can make, like knight h4 which is winning a piece. If they're not blundering pieces, shockingly your plan is to keep harassing them. At this point, let me just show you an actual game that I found on Lee Chess. Both players are rated above 1700, and you definitely want to see the checkmate in the end. White is playing queen to d2 and black thinks they can finally get rid of the knight. But here comes bishop e3, attacking the queen. Black has to save their queen and white is checking the king. Black retreats the king back to e8 and the fork is finally executed. The king has to flee again and white takes the rook. Now black thinks they can take a pawn, a terrible mistake. Check. Check and the king is in jail. Knowing that checkmate is coming, black tries to break free by using a bishop like a GGM missile. Knight to d5, discovered check. Black has to move the king and its checkmate. That is what I call strategic dominance. By the way if you don't subscribe right now, this will be you. Do it. There's one more little thing you have to know if you want to dominate the opening. What if they played knight g6? Well. Buckle up because your opponent is probably got them just playing on his secret account. Push your pawn and make them retreat the knight. Play bishop c4 and all you can really do now is to play moves that kind of look good. Play aggressive and push your pawns on the king side. If they played d6, you threaten checkmate by playing queen to f3. They have two choices. They can block the checkmate with the bishop, to which you respond by taking the pawn. Let them take the bishop, check and take it back while putting their king in a miserable position. If they're actually a hidden international chess master and they defend the checkmate with their queen, just castle and try to use your tempo advantage to build pressure. If they attack with the bishop, you threaten checkmate anyway. They probably defend with the queen and you just castle. Now the most common move is bishop takes the knight and you take back. Look at this. You're behind in material but this is winning anyway, you just own the chessboard, it's beautiful. Are you confused already? Good. Because you confused equals your opponent confused. Look. This gambit doesn't say I studied an opening system and now I have the same position every game. This opening says I sacrificed a knight in my fourth move so I can break the chains of conventional openings and engage a hardcore thinking contest that will manifest in a glorious battle of tactical warfare. This is fun. It's literally chess. A hardcore tactical thinking contest. Play it, sometimes win, sometimes lose, most times win and make them cry. Enjoy the journey, this is chess. This opening is a low elo stomper because there's no way anyone below 1600 actually carefully studied the Halloween Gambit. Pretty much every time you play it, you're left with a superior strategic position that allows you to dominate the tactical plays in the mid-game. However, this opening cannot be played in every game because it starts with the four knights. If you're looking for the best openings to climb in lower LL chess, I'm working on my next video right now.
it's a tier list of openings specifically for players under 1600 that will help you win games in lower elo. I will try to upload it until April 3rd. Subscribe and hit the bell because I'm your coach for escaping low elo and transcending into beautiful higher elo chess. Now go watch the tier list or stay in low elo for another month.